Ladies and gentlemen, I believe I have finally figured out what the big secret is that Jason Morgan is keeping from everybody. Since Jason has returned, we have found out a lot of information about his time away. We found out who picked him up, where he's been, what he's been doing, who he's been working for. The only question we haven't had answered is why? Why has Jason cooperated with the FBI? Well, I put together a timeline of events and I put some pieces together and I believe that I have finally figured out how this all went down. Now, we have to figure that, okay, Jason got picked up by the FBI when he survived the tunnel collapse in Greece back in November of 2021. He was immediately taken to Quantico, Virginia, where he met Agent John Cates, who forced him to become an informant for the FBI. He said, Jason said that uh, Cates played a recording for him that was proof of RICO violations. So Jason agreed to become an informant for the FBI and to work for Special Agent John Cates. But you have to ask yourself, why would Jason have agreed to this? Who was the recording actually about? Was it about Jason? I don't think so. I think if Jason was presented a recording of his RICO violations, he would have just said, I'm not saying anything without an attorney. I'll take my chances in court. And if I go to prison for the rest of my life, so be it. I'll go do my time. Could the recording be about Sonny? It could. Um, I think it's possible that Jason might cooperate with the FBI to protect Sonny from a life in prison, knowing that Sonny can't handle life behind bars in a cage. That's possible. I don't think it's likely, though. I think, much like Jason, um, Sonny, I mean, Jason would not do this to protect Sonny. Not that he doesn't care about him and doesn't want to protect him, but I think... Sonny thinking like Jason and have taught Jason everything he knows about working in the mob, Jason would allow Sonny to fight his own battle, and he knows that Sonny would not want him to cooperate with law enforcement just to save his hide. So I don't think this is about Sonny. So who could Jason be going to the end of the earth to protect? That he would give up the thing that means the most to him and become a rat and work with the FBI? Well, I think I figured it out, and I don't think it's that big of a surprise because I've seen a lot of people mention that this is the person that they think Jason is helping, and I think that person that Jason is helping and protecting is Carly. Now, you might ask, well, what has Carly done that would violate RICO statutes? So I did some digging back, and I put a timeline together, and I'm not really going to go through the whole timeline because that would just take forever um, to nail down piece by piece. So I'll try to just kind of give you the bullet points and the main things to, to consider here. So my first thought was it was the insider trading that she and Drew did. So I went back and looked. The first thing I looked up was, is insider trading a, a considered part of a RICO violation? Would that fall in with RICO statutes? And what I found is that yes, insider trading does qualify as a RICO violation, potentially. It depends. If it's part of a bigger operation, then perhaps it would fall into uh, RICO violations. However, when I looked at the time of the offense of insider trading that Carly and Drew did, it just didn't fit. Uh, Jason was picked up in November of 2021. Carly and Drew, according to my timeline, and I'm just kind of glancing over this, they commit insider trading in June of 2022. So Jason was already working for the FBI at this point, so it couldn't be the insider trading. So what else could Carly have done that would have violated RICO statutes? Well, to try to put this together real quick, you have to go back to December of 2020. This is when Sonny goes missing and he goes to Nixon Falls. So there is a hole at the top of his organization that Jason is trying to fill. There is a meeting with the five families in May of 2021. Jason is supposed to attend this meeting. However, and I don't remember what the reason was, but Jason was not able to make this meeting. Carly, in a panic at the very last minute, decides she will go and represent Sonny at this meeting. This kind of throws everything in disarray. This was not supposed to happen. But Carly went to the warehouse and met with the other heads of the five families. 
um, of which Selena Wu and Cyrus Renault were both there. And it was at this meeting that she declared she was the head of Sonny's operation. She was taking over. She didn't have a lot of credibility and clout with the rest of the, the five families that were there. Cyrus tried to undermine her in front of the rest of the five families. And it was at this meeting that Carly revealed to everyone, including Cyrus, that she just had one of his shipments blown up. So at, it was at this moment that pretty much everybody in the five families said, okay, Carly, we accept you. And they kind of turned their back on Cyrus. They saw Cyrus as weak. It's like, here this woman is coming in, taking over, and she's already making moves against you that you didn't know about, and you can't stop, and you can't do anything about it. So they kind of pushed Cyrus out. A few months later, Jason attends a meeting of the five families. Of course, Selena's not very happy that Carly is not the one that shows up and questions whether Carly is a liability or not and whether she's a liability that needs to be dealt with. Of course, this makes Jason extremely mad, and he says that, well, we're getting married and we're running this operation together as husband and wife. That seems to pacify Selena and the rest of the five families, um, but I think the damage was already done. Now, this takes us back to what is on this recording and who supplied the recording to John Cates and the FBI. My take on this is the following. I believe somebody was wired at that meeting on May 4, 2021, the one that Carly stepped in and took on Jason's behalf. I think this is why Jason is working with the FBI now. He feels guilty about this recording of, of evidence on Carly because he knows it should have been him at that meeting and he feels guilty about this. So he's going to the end of the earth like he always does to protect Carly. Now, who was wearing a wire at this meeting on May 4, 2021? Well, I threw around the possibilities of who it could have been. It could have been Mr. Bushima. It could have been Vincent Novak. Um, but they all later died in a car bomb and they weren't major players anyway. So that left me to two people, Cyrus Renault and Selena Wu. Could have been Selena Wu. And that's still a possibility. Um, but my guess is, is that I believe Cyrus Renault was wired and working for the FBI at the time he walked into that warehouse on May 4, 2021. And the evidence he got was of that on Carly Corinthos. So this is why I think Jason is working with the FBI. Cyrus is, has already long been working with the FBI because you got to think about it in June of 2021, Cyrus is taken into custody by the FBI and placed in prison. And just two years later, Cyrus is out a free man and claiming to be completely changed. He's turned his life over to God. He's given it up to religion and he's a totally new man. Now we know that's not true because we found out uh, last year that he was actually the boss of Mason and Austin and was doing all this stuff that he wasn't supposed to be doing if he's a changed man. So he wanted to get information on Sonny and the Pikeman deal. And there's more into that. And I tried to, when I did my research in my timeline, I tried to, to take the Jason stuff and the Pikeman stuff and try to put it together. But the Pikeman FBI WSB rabbit hole that I ended up down turned out to be way more complex than I thought it was going to be. So I'm going to save that, the whole Pikeman thing, for another video at a future time once I get more of those pieces put together. But for now, I'm just going to focus on this is the secret that Jason Morgan is keeping. This is the thing that has yet to be revealed to all of us. Everything else has been laid out for us. He has explained everything else to us except the one thing that we that is the most important thing of this whole, this whole story. Why did Jason agree to cooperate? That is not in Jason's nature. He agreed to cooperate because Cyrus Renault, who I believe was working for the FBI, was wearing a wire when he went into that warehouse with the five families. And I think he was there to just to get evidence and recordings of anybody. And it just so happened that Carly kind of pit bulled that whole meeting. And because of her big mouth, and what she admitted, Cyrus Renault got that on tape. 
I also find it very interesting, and you have to ask yourself, why has Agent John Cates taken a real liking to Carly since he's come into town? He knew exactly who she was on day one. I think he's always trying to put himself in Carly's vicinity to keep an eye on her, to try to figure out this whole Carly and Jason thing. Is he doing it for leverage? Is he doing it? I think in the past few days, um, the day when Carly went off on him just the other day at, at Bobby's, when she walked out, Kate's kind of had this look like, wow, she is impressive. Like, I'm okay. And I think he's also now realizing why Jason is doing what he's doing to protect Carly. I think he's kind of getting it now. So that's, that's my theory. What do you think of what I've just laid out? Again, just to break this down real quick, Cyrus Renault was working for the FBI in the 2021. He went into that meeting with the five families wearing a wire. He got evidence on Carly. This is the recording that Agent Cates played for Jason when they picked him up in November of 2021. And this is the leverage that they are holding over Jason's head to get him to cooperate and to keep Carly out of prison. He did not know at the time that they, the Pikeman group would be going after Sonny and targeting him. And I think the moment he found that out was the moment he tried to kind of sabotage that whole thing while still staying true to the FBI and still trying to work his way into Pikeman. But I believe that ultimately he is doing all of this to protect Carly. What do you think? Leave your comments in the section below. Let me know. What do you think of this theory? Could I be on to something here? Um, do you think it could be something else? Do you think Jason is just doing this to protect himself or protect Sonny? Um, if so, let me know. Also, keep in mind, this theory, I, I don't know whether this is right or wrong. I will say that. This is total speculation of me just investigating and putting the pieces together. I don't know what the original story for Jason's return was supposed to be. Steve Burton recently said that when the new writers took over, the storyline he signed on for got changed and is not the storyline that we're going to end up getting. So I may have originally been right and now it's being changed and it's going to go in a different direction. Um, I could be right now. I, I may have been wrong originally, but now with the changes, maybe I'm right and this is what gets revealed. Or option three, I was just completely dead wrong about the whole thing from beginning to end. But putting the pieces together, putting the timeline together, this is what I've come up with. And I truly believe that Jason is doing all of this to protect Carly from the evidence that the FBI has on her for committing these RICO violations. Again, let me know what you think. Thank you so much for all your continued support. We are growing this community so much every single day, and, and it means the world to me. It really does. I appreciate every single one of you for every second of your time and attention that you give me. It means the world to me. Thank you so much, and I'll catch you next time.